When I decided to become a real estate investor 16 years ago, my dream was to create financial freedom where I could work from home, create my own schedule, not have to answer to a boss, and be able to spend more time with my family. And what's cool is I started doing real estate deals remotely years ago. It's called virtual wholesaling, and today my real estate business is 100% virtual. I don't have employees or a company office, and I work from home. Now, most of the deals I do, I never actually see them in person. So I spend a lot of time in my home office, and ever since I started working from home, I've dreamed of the ultimate home office, and I finally arrived. Wait till you see it. So on today's video, just for fun and to help you create a vision for yourself, join me on a tour of my new home office, coming up. This video is brought to you by 10K Club, a program that pays you $10,000 for finding ugly houses Learn more at my10kcheck.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippyMastery.com, and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. When creating my dream home office, I thought long and hard about the personality of the office. What environment did I want to create? Atmosphere is everything. I wanted the space to really create a feeling of success, but I also wanted a very classy, intellectual, luxury feel to the office. As I thought about my progression as an entrepreneur and also what I stand for here on my YouTube channel, it became clear to me that a life of learning has been my key to success and my passion is teaching others how to be successful with real estate. Now, I would not be where I am today if I had not dedicated myself to become a lifelong learner. In the wholesaling and flipping industry, I wanna be known as the very best educator in the industry. And whether you know it or not, I pour my heart and soul into my videos so that you can consume the very best information about wholesaling and flipping. And a passion that both my wife and I have that we hope to pass on to our kids is a love of learning and a love of books, especially classical books. Now we homeschool our kids and our homeschool philosophy is to use classics to teach morals and God-centered principles. So we're both big book collectors. So I knew that my dream home office would need to have a massive library and then the coolest thing happened to me. I was working on a probate deal in Scottsdale, Arizona, nearby where I live, and I wasn't able to make the deal work, but I noticed a picture of a library full of books. So I asked the executor representing the estate about the books and I found out that the deceased person was a school teacher and the library of books was her lifelong collection of classical books. Now my wife and I were fascinated with her collection but it was obvious the executor didn't care about it, so I asked if I could buy the library and we struck a deal to buy the entire collection for $200. Now, I later had it appraised for over $10,000, but we wouldn't dream of selling it. Now, most of the collection was dictionaries and complete sets of encyclopedias, and what I'm about to show you in my library is only half of the collection. The rest of the books are part of my wife's homeschool library. Now, I love the look and feel and the image that these classic encyclopedias and books create in my home workspace. So let's check out my home office. Okay, so first of all, on this entire wall, this entire built-in here, you know, I've got these cabinets, but I've got a lot of shelving, and I put all of these encyclopedia sets. Every one of these are a set. Now, a few of these, I'm missing a couple of the, of the books. So I'm on the hunt to complete my sets. But you can see here that these are just really cool, old antique encyclopedias and dictionaries. And uh, I mean, some of these are just really fascinating if you take a look at them. Like I'll just pull one of these out here. This, this set over here is really cool. It's called the Book of Knowledge. And that's a complete set here. I'll pull one of these out. But it's just, I mean, look how antique this is. And this old, old world, old school, just really neat books. So I just love them. I mean, they're just, uh, they have so much character to them. And uh, so I've got this entire, all of these cabinets filled out here in, um, I try to have in all my videos a picture of, or one of my statues of Christ in the background just to kind of portray my Christian background beliefs. I've got a really big one I put up on this side. So I've got, I've got the, the big uh, Christ statue over there. I've got a smaller one on this side. That way when I'm doing my videos, if I do one from this angle facing this way, I try to have that. You'll notice in the background on my videos, that picture. So you got this side over here. I mostly work from this desk right here. I've got pictures of the family. And um, I've got my, you know, my scriptures right here to remind me every day that the word of God is the first thing I want to do to start out my day. 
but I love all the space I've got, all the, all the um, cabinets that I can put things in. Got my whiteboard right here. Uh, this table I like to work on too, so sometimes I'll, I'll turn around and work this way at the table, which is really great. This is kind of a really cool thing. Uh, years ago, my brother got this for me for my birthday. It says Jerry Norton, Jerry Norton hitting home runs. So sometimes I'll just like when I'm on the phone or something, it's just kind of, <clears throat> you know, really, really cool to have that. So that I keep that kind of sitting out all the time. Uh, and then I love all the windows here. In a minute, we'll go out to the deck uh, and kind of what that means to me out there. But I love this big living space here with the couch, the chairs. So there's tons of space, really high ceilings. You can see I, I love all the, uh, the ceiling treatment we have. You can see really cool kind of huge office space here. So definitely, I mean, the biggest office you can imagine. This thing's just massive. And I built this entire built-in over here. And this has got some really cool things on here. So more sets. So a lot of these are, are complete sets that I've got over here of encyclopedias and dictionaries. And then the whole bottom row here, these are just kind of old books. My favorite of all though, is this book right here. This is uh, an original copy of Think and Grow Rich. And um, I actually got this for free. My wife found it for me at a campground. We were camping and there was a stack of books in the lobby that said free, take for free. And one of the books was this right here. This, this is actually this same book you can buy on eBay right now for you know, almost $1,000. So it was a really cool find, so I really love that book. And this really helped me in the beginning of my career to really start to focus on the mindset of, of money and success. And uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of the, the collection all on these books. Um, this is a Kachina doll that my grandpa who passed away, he made that for me, so that's kind of special. And this, this up here is a, I thought fit really well with kind of this old world look. It's a, it's a ship also that my, uh, my uncle made that passed away, so it's kind of an heirloom and special. Um, these over here are framed t-shirts. When I was in a, a junior and a senior in high school, I went to a, a wrestling camp called Jay Robinson's. It's 28 days, straight 28 days, four grueling practices a day. And if you pass the camp, which only about half the entry entrance make it, you get this t-shirt that says 28 days. So um, really taught me at a young age to have a work ethic going to those camps for wrestling. And so I framed those and put those on the wall. So those are really special. Uh, this is another poster that I've had um, most of my life that I love what it says. It says, every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows that it must run faster than the fastest lion or it will be killed. Every morning a lion wakes up. It knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be running. And I just love that philosophy because it's that hustle mindset. And uh, when I first got started, it was the hustle that allowed me to, you know, really get traction, really get momentum, really get my business off the ground. I really feel like I'm not smarter than anybody else. I just outworked everybody else. And so that's been a key to my success. So I, I love the philosophy and the mindset of, you know what, doesn't matter, get up and hustle. That's how you make things happen. Uh, my dog right here, Layla, come here, Layla, lives with me. She's uh, very clingy. So she's always in the office. Wherever I go, Layla comes with me. Little, it's a little Yorkie. So Layla hangs out here in the office with me. So I keep food and water over here. This is uh, my full bathroom and shower. I've got it in the office, you can check that out. It's granite, full shower. So I've got my own dedicated bathroom in the office. And for Layla, I put in uh, my little doggy, I put in a little doggy door right here. So she goes, uh, she can come and go. So she hangs out with me all day in the office. She comes and goes when she wants into the backyard. Over here, I got a little mini fridge inside this cabinet, which is nice, keep cold drinks in there. And then this is really fun here. So we'll go out onto, the, onto my deck in the office. All right here, I got putting green. If you're into golf, this is really fun. So you can do golf right here. And then, uh, so those are my chickens. I'm, uh, I grew up on a farm, so I've got that farm boy in me still. So even though I'm in a multi-million dollar neighborhood, I got chickens and ducks out here, but uh, they're a lot of fun. And uh, so I, I like to come out here when I'm on the phone. I like to sit on the furniture out here. And then uh, this is our you know, resort style pool. Something I do every single day is I, I go up on the, on the patio off the master bedroom and I jump off the balcony into the pool. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, 
When we first bought the house, my wife said, absolutely not, that's not safe, I don't want anybody doing that. And then after the first day, she gave up on it because my, my older kid's constantly jumping off, I'm constantly jumping off. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna put a ladder right here where I can just walk out the office, climb up the ladder, jump off the balcony, cool off, and then just come right back in the office. So why is my library so significant? What, why does it matter? What does it have to do with wholesaling and flipping houses? Well, first of all, to me, this is the epitome of being a real estate investor and owning my own business. Now, I didn't envision this exact setup when I got started, but I did envision something like this, and I especially visualized living my dream life. My work is not drudgery, it's a joy and a blessing, and it's actually not work at all for me. Now this house is 11,000 square feet, and one of the reasons why I bought this particular house is to do my live training events here at the house. So if you'd like to learn how you can come here and hang out with me and learn how to earn a six and even seven figure business wholesaling and flipping houses, then I want you to attend a free training to learn how you can partner with me on deals and earn while you learn. Just go to FastTrackWithJerry.com. Hey, thanks for joining me on this video. If you think my home office is awesome, leave a comment and say, Jerry, your home office is flipping genius. And if you'd like to see a tour of my entire house, all 11,000 square feet, leave a comment and let me know. And don't forget, it's not about the money or the house or the office. Ultimately, what really matters is having the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give everything God has in store for you. That's what it's really all about. And I'll see you on the next video.